Let's talk about driver conflict issues and how to resolve them, especially if you're running on Windows 10, you use an X-Ride device to do a calibration and you have a BenQ SW hardware calibrate display. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. This issue affects a small number of users, however, it comes up every now and then, and the knowledge that I'm about to share here is good to add to your troubleshooting arsenal. Specifically, you have to be using Windows 10, an X-Rite color calibration device, and you have installed DisplayCal on your system at some point. When you launch DisplayCal for the first time, it will ask you to install Argil CMS driver. This is an open source driver that allows DisplayCal to run the calibration on your system and communicate with the color measurement device. The problem is that Argil CMS driver running in the background is causing a conflict when you're trying to run first party software from XWrite or BenQ Palette Master Element software. And so the symptom can exhibit itself in the following way. For instance, if you're trying to run XWrite software, you can plug in the XWrite device. The computer recognizes that you have that plug in. However, when you launch a program, it does not see the device at all. Or in the situation with Palette Master Element, it could exhibit itself in a few different ways. Number one, you have the device plug in, you launch Palette Master Element, you show the device from a drop down list and it's showing in the red X. You can click on check sensor however many times and it's still showing a red X even though you know the device is already plugged into the computer. With Palette Master Element, you could also be able to get a check mark there, go through the calibration process, but what you may find out is that the calibration process from something that takes less than 10 minutes takes 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something like that. And if it takes that long, a few things will happen. Either you will finish the calibration and you will try to run the validation, but it doesn't pass or it will just time out and just quit midway through. These are some of the symptoms that you may be seeing and experiencing. So to fix this problem, what we need to do is uninstall the Argio 2 driver. And then what we're gonna do is download X-Rite device services and install that from X-Rite website. So to fix this issue, what we need to do is uninstall Argo driver before we can run a calibration with X-Rite software on software calibrate display or Palette Master Element on BenQ SW displays. To do this, we will launch Device Manager from our Windows system. And you can simply click on the Start menu and start typing in the word device. A suggestion will show up called Device Manager. Click on that and this will show up. If you have the device plug in, you will see there at the very top that this is running on the Argil Lib USB Win32 driver or devices. Right now I have my i1 Display Pro Plus plug-in and it's showing as i1 Display 3 and in parentheses, the Arjo driver. If you have an i1 Studio plug-in, it will show up in a very similar fashion, but rather than saying i1 Display 3, it will say i1 Studio. What you want to do here is right click on it and click on uninstall device. From here, you will see that dialog pop up. What you want to do is click on delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. This is going to remove the Argo driver from the system. And then once this is gone, if you have the device plug in, it won't be recognizing that anymore. And the next thing that you want to do is go into your web browser and search for X-Rite device services. What I'm going to do is leave a link to X-Rite device services for Windows machine in the link below. However, if you're watching this video in the future and X-Rite have to buy an update, it may not be the latest version. So double check that before you download it. As you can see on my screen, there is a long list of software that you can download from X-Rite to install on your computer. You want to look for X-Rite device services for PC, and you want to compare the version number, picking the highest one so that you have the latest version. From there, download it and install it on your system. A couple of other alternatives if you don't want to download and install X-Rite device services is to re-download i1 Profiler, i1 Studio, or you can also install Palette Master Element as well. Because when you're finished with Palette Master Element installation, it will start a secondary installation that will automatically install X-Rite device services on your system. So once you uninstall Argil driver, you should be set and now you should be able to calibrate using either X-Rite software or BenQ Palette Master Element software without any issues and you should be able to pass validation. So I hope you find this additional troubleshooting tip helpful, especially if you have installed DisplayCal on your system before. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified, and until next time, in Art We Trust.